Hi, it's Michael. The greatest calamity for life is to grow up and or to be in an unloving environment. And by unloving, of course, means lacking lovingness, lacking, lacking kindness, lacking nourishing, lacking understanding, lacking acceptance, and so on. Perhaps most of us can relate to this with the following example. Undoubtedly most of us had a jerk boss or worked in a company where the management, uh, the whole structure of the management just cared about the bottom line, about doing their way and uh, didn't listen to anybody, didn't care about the employees and implementing policies that didn't make sense and so on and so on. You remember how depressing it was? You remember how demoralizing it was to work there? And you had the advantage of escaping that after your shift was over and going home and relaxing. Now imagine the following scenario, which is an example number two, and kind of main kind of main point of this talk is a kid, a child being stuck growing up in this kind of environment, uncaring, not nourishing, resentful environment. And the child has no way of escaping it is bound to it, is in a way kind of dependent on it. So can you imagine how it is for the child? When a woman is forced to proceed with the pregnancy to carry the child and then to, carry for, to care for the child, then because it is forced, automatically resentment is generated inside of the woman it can be subconscious, it doesn't need to be necessarily conscious. But resentment of being forced to do that, resentment of being in a way anchored to the child, uh, losing freedom in a way, a resentment with the society forcing her to do it, resentment with the child, a resentment with herself, resentment with God, this resentment very easily turns to, to hate and uh, it generates other emotions like despair, anger, potentially apathy. All these are very destructive emotions that in addition open the person to negative energies, negative entities uh, that uh, bring the environment down even further. So when a child uh, is basically forced to grow up in this environment, and in a way it is if it's born into this environment, then the child is generally speaking pretty much automatically bound to have psychological issues to be of low energy meaning low positivity so very high probability of criminality very high probability of being destructive towards the society so this is in a way a, a no-win scenario for the society now the child can be given for adoption yet the child is still energetically bound to the parents, especially to the mother. So even when a child is given up for an adoption for an, from an abusive mother, from an alcoholic mother or from mother that rejects caring for the child, the child is still energetically bound to it. Not only that, the child carries the emotions of the mother and of the child's own emotions of being in that environment and going through that. Now, if the child is adopted by a truly loving family that is truly 
loving and supportive, then the positive of the love can negate and counterbalance all this negativity. The question is, how many, what's the chance of that? Prayerfully it is good, but uh, statistically speaking, what's the chance of the child that goes into the social system like this of being um, adopted by a truly loving and supportive family? So there are, of course, potentially ways of dealing with all these negative emotions and one of the best techniques is neuro-emotional technique about which I to, uh, talk in my videos NET neuro-emotional technique which is designed to detect and uh, clear all these stored negative emotions and this helps to discharge negative positionalities and opinions of course, the person undergoing the NET has to agree to it and has to be willing to um, release, to get rid of all those negative emotions. Also, if you live in a relationship or whenever somebody is in a relationship where the partner or, or the caregiver is uh, resentful uh, towards the person he has to care for or even worse or hates the person even though it may be subconsciously uh, then and the person cooks the caregiver cooks or provides meals drinks for the person he cares for or she cares for that energy of the hate of resentment goes into the food into the drink and it becomes a poison it is not nourishing so again circling back to the mom who is forced to carry the child who is forced to take care of it um, then feeding the child with resent while being resentful towards the child that poison of resentfulness of hate or whatever other emotions gets through the food to the child and that's a poison and this also works in marriages where the or other partnerships where they fight where they are um, antagonistic towards each other then and if they if one of them cooks for the other like the wife cooks for the husband and they fight they basically hate each other then that food is a poison okay so uh, just to be aware of it of course as mentioned love true love true kindness true caringness compassion that can counterbalance is, counterbalance all this and clear it uh, even though stuck emotions and they get stuck in the subconscious of the person they get stuck there until they get cleared and the neuro emotional technique NET is some one of the best techniques to kill to clear them and coupled with the chiropractic uh, which uh, is synergistic which even magnifies the positive effect of all that then that truly can help the person get out of the negative scenario and get get into lovingness and into positivity to contribute positively to the society to the world all right uh, oh and if uh, uh, if you're interested in uh, finding out more about net the website netmindbody.com netmindbody.com and on the main page of the website in the upper right hand corner I believe is a practitioner finder link where there is an interactive map where one can find a doctor that performs NET and of course what's incredibly important and it's 
in all aspects of life, not in just in the not just in this, is to acknowledge the source of life, the true self, which is within each person, and uh, to honor it, to appreciate it and ask it for help, protection and guidance. I am very grateful to the true self for helping I with positive, healthy, life that contributes positively to the world to the society awareness amen whatever and to do one's best to be as kind and understanding towards all life as possible always if one slips and makes a mistake that's fine but the overall direction and intention is towards kindness towards all life always as even Doc David, Dr. David Hawkins has very well explained in his talks. So this is it for this talk. If you have any questions or comments, they can be left below the video. Wishing you a healthy and joyful life. Michael out.